to Hitler, with Hitler in control of the entire continent of Europe, on the verge of invading the Soviet Union, 80% plus said even at the risk of the fall of Great Britain, the U.S. should not get involved as a fighting force in the war. Americans were massively opposed to intervening in the war. And then you get into the depth, and the depth is quite remarkable because we think, oh, you know, there were fascists in America who were opposed to entry into the war. There were communists who until right up until June 22nd, 1941, when the uh, Germans invaded the Soviet Union, were deeply opposed to intervention in the imperialist war, as it was being called. Uh, but the reality is that former President Herbert Hoover, um, a mainline Republican, uh, was strongly isolationist. Norman Thomas, perennial socialist candidate for president, was deeply opposed. In my book, I have figures like Theodore Roosevelt Jr., the son of Teddy Roosevelt, President Teddy Roosevelt, the Rough Rider, who had been so adamant about the U.S. getting into uh, World War I and sent his four sons there, uh, including Ted Roosevelt Jr., who uh, was badly wounded in the war. He was a leading isolationist during the period. Eventually he came back and, and rejoined the army and was famously um, leading the invasion at uh, Utah Beach on D-Day. So there was people really across the political spectrum. And it wasn't simply people who had uh, radical sentiments on the left or right or who had uh, any kind of ethnic uh, hatred that was driving them. You know, there was a very deep anti-war sentiment on American college campuses. You know, in many ways, as forceful as took place during the Vietnam era, young people were basically saying, I don't want to go fight a war among the great powers and fight a war of attrition, which the assumption was it would end up being another war like the First World War, in which essentially an entire generation was slaughtered in the uh, in the trenches, facing off against each other. And there was a draft established before the U.S. actually entered the war. Yes, uh, there? indeed. So while there was this...